Welcome back YouTube Pipe Smokers, Mutton Chop Piper here. Well today is a video that has been waited for for a long time by a lot of you. Today's video is entitled, My Favorite Blends of 2016. Now instead of giving each one of them a number, um, I'm going to do a little bit something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to give you my favorite type of blend in each blend category, like my favorite Virginia, my favorite Virginia Perique, my favorite English, so forth, so forth and so on. So why don't we get started? The first category we want to look at is Virginia. What is my favorite Virginia blend? Well, that would be Peter Stokeby's Luxury Twist Flick. I really like this because um, I'm more I'm more partial to the aged to buy aged Virginias than the bright Virginias. Uh, I like the presentation. It's square. It's nice and brown. It has that aged aged hay aroma. Uh, it's, it would be like taking um, you know cutting down hay and letting it sit in the field to age. Um, it's very sweet. Um, and it's very, um, it's a darker sweetness, uh, and it's age sweetness, uh, but it still has that Virginia taste. I really like it. All right. The next one is my favorite Virginia Perique blend. And I've talked about this blend quite a bit throughout the year. So you probably already guessed what it is, but my favorite, um, vapor is Russell Letts. Firestorm. Now, I really like the combination of the Virginia and Perique, and it has some Kentucky in it as well. And I think the combination of all three give it a cinnamon toast type of taste. Uh, I get a real cinnamony under, undertone. Um, the sweetness comes out really well. Um, uh, it's mellow and it's smooth. And I really, really like it. So again, that's Russell Let's Firestorm. The next blend type we're going to look at is Burley. What is my favorite Burley type? Well, I had a couple of them that I was smoking throughout the year that I really liked. But the one that I like the most is Solani Aged Burley Flick. Um, it's a straight Burley. Um, the company that produces this uh, has come up with a uh, special type of um, aging process uh, and it really is a dark uh, it has some fruit notes but it has m more than the fruit notes it has the uh, a really deep molasses taste that I get and I really really like that that aged molasses taste that Solani uh, aged Burley Flake gives. So if you haven't tried some of this, you might want to pick some up. Alright, now we're going to be going into my favorite blends, which are blends that have Oriental tobacco in it. Uh, now, the next blend I'm going to talk about is a blend that was just produced this year, but it's made with aged Virginia uh, and it has some Oriental leaf in it. Uh, this blend is called Bijou by Cornell and Deal. Now, I really like this blend because it uses some aged 2003 uh, vintage Eastern North Carolina, Virginia, along with some Oriental leaf. So that aged Virginia gives it an aged sweetness. The sweetness is, is, is a little bit deeper. Um, tasting smoke. Uh, the addition of the oriental leaf gives it a sort of a sweet and sour, um, but the sweet, the sourness is really very low in this. Um, the sweetness, the aged sweetness comes out really well in this, in this blend. Uh, and it really is a great blend. Now it's designed to be aged. So, um, but when I pop the tin, 
when I first got it, it tastes just as good as if it was aged. Now I'm sure by aging it, it will taste even better. But if you want to pick up a tin and try it out, pop it right away and it's great. Again, that's Cornell and Deals Bijou. All right, the next blend that we want to talk about, there's a couple of blends that are um, aromatic blends that I want to talk about. Uh, these blends are uh, my favorite. Sometimes I get tired of just the English blends and the vapors and I want something different. Um, I want something a little sweeter. So the two aromatic blends that I really like, um, the first one is CAO's Eileen's Dream. Now Eileen's Dream, it, it tastes like a, um, uh, it, it tastes like a vanilla um, Irish cream latte. Uh, there are so many things that are in this tobacco, so many toppings. Uh, chocolate, Irish cream, white chocolate, truffle. Uh, it, it just, it, it's, it's sweet and mellow and uh, it, it's, um, uh, it has, you know, the vanilla, and the Irish cream really, really come out. And it even has the white chocolate. Um, it just really is a, a fantastic aromatic smoke. Uh, so this is one to pick up if you haven't tried it. The next one I wanna go tell you about is another one that is, I haven't heard talked about quite a bit. And um, I really enjoy it. It's really a great, a great aromatic smoke. It's Drew Estates. Central Park Stroll. Uh, now this one, um, it it it's chocolatey uh, and vanilla, chocolate and vanilla together, and it melds so well that as you're smoking, you'll get pockets of chocolate, then you'll get pockets of vanilla, and it really is just it's a smooth, uh, very uh, very mellow smoke. Um, so. For you uh, aromatic smokers, if you haven't tried this blend, uh, yeah, it's definitely one to pick up. All right, the next blend is uh, from the Frog Morton series. Um, I am a big fan of that series. I like uh, Frog Morton Cellar, but out of the series of the ones that I've tried, the one I like the best is Frog Morton on the Town. Now this has got some very nice, um, it's got a little bit of Latakia, it has uh, Virginia's and it has um, some Oriental Leaf and it has that nice uh, sweet and sour taste of the Oriental Leaf but the Latakia sort of combines with that to, to pull that back a little bit. It's smoky, uh, sweet and sour but it really is a, a fantastic smoke. Uh, it's one of my favorites. And again, that one is Frog Morton on the Town. Now the next, next one I'm going to talk to you about is one that is pretty hard to get. It's hard to locate. Uh, they don't get a lot of it in. Um, but in my opinion, it's a superior taste. It's a superior tobacco to the tobacco that is more well known than this one. The tobacco I'm going to talk to you about is Esoterica Tobacchiana's Stonehaven. Now, the other tobacco that this company make is, makes is called Penzance. That one is also is a very difficult one to get to, uh, to get a hold of. Stonehaven is the same way. But I like Stonehaven a little bit better than I do uh, the Penzance. Stonehaven for me is sweeter. Uh, it is very dark. It's a very deep, dark, molasses, mapley, smooth, sweet uh, tobacco. It uh, once you rub it out, I would suggest that you let it dry out some. But for me, that molasses and maple, a uh, little bit of vanilla. Uh, sweet taste of this tobacco is just, uh, for me, 
<coughs> I enjoy it a lot better than I do the Penzance. All right, the next tobacco I'm going to talk to you about is another Oriental Forward English blend. But this tobacco has about six or seven different ingredients in the tobacco, and it is absolutely fantastic. It's one of my favorites. It's been around since 2007, and it's hailed as probably one of the best blends ever, ever made. Uh, and that one is Seattle Pipe Club's Plum Pudding. Now, I never, I didn't try this right away. Uh, this is a late comer to, to my game at least. Uh, but once I did, I was just blown away. Um, it's an English Balkan uh, pressed tobacco. Um, it's got Orioles, Virginia, Perique, Black Cavendish, and Latakia. So it's really fun to be able to fill your pipe with this and kind of work out the taste you're getting. Okay, I'm getting some Cavendish here, some Latakia there, some Oriental Leaf here. So it's kind of a fun tobacco to smoke. Really fantastic. Now the last tobacco I want to talk to you about is one that's similar to plum pudding in taste. Um, it has that same sweet and sour type of smoky taste, uh, sweetness to it. Um, but I don't know if a lot of people, either they don't like this blend or they haven't really heard of it that much. Uh, but this blend that I'm talking about is GLP's Maltese Falcon. Now Maltese Falcon, again, it's an Oriental Forward English blend. Has Latakia, has uh, Oriental Leaf, um, and it has Virginias. But it's just as, just as complex for me, and to my palate, as uh, the plum pudding is. Um, it, it has that sweet sour. Um, now when I talk to you about sweet and sour, to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, the sweet and sour taste is on the same line as orange juice. When you drink orange juice, there's that sour, but it's, but it's more sweet than sour, so you tend to want to drink more of it. That's the same thing with the Maltese Falcon, or with the sweet and sour that I'm talking about of Oriental Leaf. There's more sweetness than sour, so you, you want to continue to smoke it. Um, and I really enjoy uh, Maltese Falcon in that, in that way. All right, so now you want to know what is my Desert Island Blend. Now, what do I mean by Desert Island Blend? Well, if I was dropped onto a desert island and I was given five pipes and told I could only smoke one tobacco, which tobacco would that be? Well, there was a competition between the two. Plum Pudding and Maltese Falcon. Throughout the year, I, I get kind of hooked on Plum Pudding, and then that would fall, and I'd get hooked on the Maltese Falcon. So there was a fight going on. Which one was, gonna, which one was it going to be? The Plum Pudding or the Maltese Falcon? Well, it was the Maltese Falcon. I don't know, there's something about this blend that maybe the way it's manufactured, maybe the way it's put together, uh, but I really enjoy uh, the sweetness and the, the complexity of this blend. It really, it really is a fantastic uh, blend to kind of to figure out. So uh, again, my favorite blend of 2016 is Maltese Falcon. Now, I wanted to talk to you a little bit before I got, before I let you go. Uh, kind of apologize to those guys, you guys in Europe. I know that you can't hardly get any tobacco. Um, and this is probably torturous to watch, and I apologize, but um, so far, still in the United States, we can get a hold of these tobaccos, and I'm just trying to uh, help out my my fellow pipe smokers here in the states uh, to try to guide them to some quality tobaccos uh, that I know that they'll enjoy. All right, well that's it for this video. Uh, until my next video, um, I hope that you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, I want to wish you and your family. Happy piping.